So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in sysdm.cpl. Click on enter. And now once you're on this, you're going to click on remote. And you want to make sure that this is also being ticked as well. Allow connections only from computers. So tick both of these and then click on apply. And then click on select users. So now once you're on here, you're going to see the user accounts to have access. If you want to add more user accounts, you want to click on add. And then you want to type in the user account name right here. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to type in everyone. You probably don't want to do this. You want to select the actual user account name. But just for this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing everyone. Which will then select every user account. But in your case, you probably just want to add the specific user account that you want to add. And now once you type in the name, you want to click on check names. And then you want to click on OK. And then it should be added here. But in my case, I'm just going to delete this because I don't want this. But in your case, you could just add the user account that you want to add. And then click on OK again. And then click on OK again. And now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. And now you want to type in netsh space winsock space reset. And click on enter again. And now you should restore your computer and then the problem should be fixed.